Hey guys, Zix here. Time for another tutorial, this time outside of Minecraft, but Minecraft related. If you are like me and you like to run multiple versions of Minecraft, you are going to find yourself in a situation where eventually you try to install Forge for an older version, perhaps, and it doesn't work. So you would think the solution would be to make a separate Minecraft folder and create Forge for that folder. Turns out, there's a couple steps that you have to do in order for it to work. And the very first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to delete your Minecraft folder. Let me show you how to get there. We're gonna go to percentage app data, percentage, click on the button. That is going to open up app data roaming, which is the default location for the Minecraft folder. Now, before you do this, make yourself a backup. I made myself Minecraft backups and inside of it, I put the, my main Minecraft folder with all the versions that I've had on here uh, before. Uh, and that's just to be on the safe side. Also, your, your saves, your world saves, and your, and your schematics, uh, and any resource packs that you're using, all of those things. Of course, I don't have any on this, but, but either way, you probably do. All the resources packs that you've had uh, downloaded or whatever, or shaders or anything like that. All that stuff will get saved and won't get deleted. You really, it's super important that you do this before you start doing anything because the last thing you want to do is lose a save world that you've been working on for a very long time. Okay, now if you come over to my app data roaming folder, you will see that I have quite a few Minecraft versions going on here. Um, this one and this one both have Forge in them, even though they are not in the main Minecraft folder, which you see here. So we're gonna show you right now how to do that. So let's, we're just gonna open up the Minecraft launcher. Now I have an inst installations in here already, but what you're going to do using the default directory, now I know this may seem contradictory to what we're trying to do, but we're gonna use the default directory. But you know what, let's do a version I don't have. That way we can go through the whole process. Let's, let's do for 1.10.2 and then we will just call this, well, it doesn't matter what we call it to be totally honest. We're going to create it. Where is it? Where are you? Here you are. We're going to load it, and then we're going to quit it. And what that will do in your main Minecraft folder, now when you open up versions, you will see a 1.10.2 folder. So now we're going to download the latest Forge for 1.10.2. Not too difficult to do. Uh, I mean, I'll put a link in it. I mean, do you really need help? If, you, if, you, if you're trying to do this, you don't need help with that. I'm going to go ahead and download the installer and get it running. Um, and then I'll see you guys when we're there. I'll, I'll put a link to the website that I use. Side note, I always download the recommended version, not the latest version. All right, now we are going to double click Minecraft Forge. We are going to see that there is the client here. This is the one we want. Mercurius is something that is added later. Uh, as by default, but all it is is it's, it tells you what it is. A mod that collects statistics about Minecraft. Um, if you don't want the Forge people to to know to have that information, just unclick it. Uh, but you should know that this is already available in future versions. So we're going to click Clay. OK. You will see successfully installed client profile Forge for blah 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 blah. You will see there is a new versions folder in here. And now, once again, you're going to say, well, Zixter, you said we were going to be making a separate folder. We are. We are. Go to your roaming. We're going to create a new folder here. You really can name it anything. It doesn't have to be .minecraft, but I like to. We're going to call it 1.10.2 Forge. Close. Now, we're going to go back into our launcher. We're going to go into installations. We're going to click a new installation. You will now see 1.10.2. All right, yeah, and then we're going to change the directory here to this, and we're going to hit OK, and we're going to hit Create, and then we're going to hit Play on the correct one, <laughs> not on 1.7. Here we are. Now, if you go into your uh, app data folder once again, all of a sudden, the 1.10.2 Forge Minecraft folder has everything in it, ready to go, resource packs, mods, of course, if you got, you can now add any mods you want for 1.10.2, and they will be in a separate folder than your than your regular old 1.10 Minecraft, uh, regular old dot Minecraft folder. Now you're going to see this is going to be in here, uh, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. 
um, because it's going to be running off of this folder, but you do have to keep... Oh dear gosh, the music. Shut up! You do have to keep uh, this in here. Uh, if you take this out, it, it, won't, it won't work. So keep that there. Uh, you can delete this folder here, if you, if you so please. But if you delete this folder here, you will not be able to make a separate instance in the launcher. And it's not hurting anything being here, so you might as well keep it. So we've got to this point, and if you're watching this and you didn't come here because of this, you may be wondering why. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because when you run just regular old Minecraft mods and you have different versions and you have this mods folder, these all are going to pile up in here. And once you get too many of them going, uh, it, you're going to start having issues. And then, and then instances that you had no issue playing before are not going to work anymore. And that is why I create separate folders. And once I got started doing this and I learned how to do it, I decided that I was going to do this for every single different version of Minecraft that I'm playing. Um, aside from, this is actually, well, I won't, I won't say what that is. That's going to spoil the series. Um, this, this is, I don't want to talk about that. Shush, 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 shush. Uh, and, and then so, and it keeps, it just keeps the Minecraft folder cleaner for me. Of course, I have some deprecated stuff in here that I need to get rid of, like this Legends folder needs to go, but whatever. Don't, 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 don't hate because I'm disorganized, all right? But that, my friends, is going to do it. If I, if, if anybody had issues, uh, please comment in the comment section below. Uh, if I was able to help you, I would greatly appreciate a like. I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe subscribe and i'd really greatly appreciate it if you could hit the notification bell we do a lot of stuff on our channel and i hope that you are here for more than just this take it easy